In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the King who is let who is lifted up on the cross for our sake. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ the King who is lifted up on the cross for our sake. The Lord is God, the mighty God, great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. Dry land too, for it was formed by his hand. Come, let us worship Christ the King, who was lifted up on the cross for our sake. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ the King, who was lifted up on the cross for our sake. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as the fathers did in the wilderness. When at Maribon Mountain, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all my words. Come, let us worship Christ the King, who was lifted up on the cross for our sake. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ the King, who was lifted up on the cross for our sake. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, it will be forever. And then come, let us worship Christ the King, who was lifted up on the cross for our sake. On a, hill, on a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for the world of lost sinners were slain. So I'll cherish them. the old rugged cross for my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown and exchange it someday for a crown. Hard not to sing that one. It is. And upon one to destroy the power of hell, Christ died upon the cross, clothed in strength, glory. He triumphed over death. Readings from Psalm 63, whoever has left the darkness of sin yearns for God. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long, for your soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name, I will lift up my hand. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed, I remember you. On you, I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings, I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds fast to me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To destroy the power of hell, Christ died upon the cross. Clothed in strength and glory, he triumphed over death. And upon two, the Lord hung upon the cross, washed away our sins in his own blood. How splendid is that blessed cross. A reading from the book of Daniel. All your servants of the Lord sing praise to him. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. 
stars of heaven bless the Lord. Every shower and dew bless the Lord. All you winds bless the Lord. Fire and heat bless the Lord. Cold and chill bless the Lord. Dew and rain bless the Lord. Frost and chill bless the Lord. Ice and snow bless the Lord. Night and day bless the Lord. Light and darkness bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All the birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Ananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. The Lord hung upon the cross to wash away our sins in his own blood. How splendid is that blessed cross. How radiant is that precious cross which brought us salvation. In the cross we are victorious. Through the cross we shall reign. By the cross all evil is destroyed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 149. Bless the sons of the church, the children of the new people. Rejoice in Christ, their King. Sing a new song to the Lord is praised in, in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To be allowed vengeance to the nations, on the shore and all the peoples to bind their kings and chains and their nobles and fetters of iron, to carry out this sentence preordained. This honor is for all in his earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. How radiant is that precious cross which brought to us, which brought us our salvation. In the cross we are victorious through the cross. We shall reign by the cross. All we want to destroy. Hallelujah. Our reading from Hebrews. We see Jesus crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death, that through God's gracious will he might taste death for the sake of all men. Instead, it was fitting that when bringing many sons to glory when bringing many sons to glory god for whom and through whom all exist should make their leader in the work of salvation perfect through suffering We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. And we bless you. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. And upon we have worshipped your cross, O Lord, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection for the wood of the cross has brought joy to the world. A reading from Luke. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, oh, sorry. Through his holy prophets, he promised of all that he would save us from our enemies in the hands of all who would hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, who set us free from the hands of our enemies, 
free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high, shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We worship your cross, O Lord, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection, for the wood of the cross has brought joy, has brought joy to the world. Let us pray with confidence to Christ, who endured this cross to redeem us. Save us through your cross, O Lord. Son of God, you healed the people of Israel when they looked upon the broad bronze serpent. Protect us this day from the deadly wound of sin. Save us through the cross, O Lord. Son of man, just as Moses raised up the serpent in the desert, so you were raised up on the cross in the sight of all the nations. Rise, Raise us up to share in the triumph of your cross. Save us through your cross, O Lord. Only begotten Son of the Father, you were sent into this world so that those who believe in you might not perish. Grant unending life to all who long to see your face. Save us through your cross, O Lord. Beloved Son of the Father, you were not sent to judge the world but to save it. Grant faith to our brothers and sisters and bring them to the last day to and bring them on the last day to the joy of heaven. Save us through your cross, O Lord. Eternal Son of the Father, you came to cast fire on the earth, and you long to see its flame kindled in the hearts of all men. Grant that through holiness of life we may come to share in the undying light of your glory. Save us through your cross, O Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son should undergo the cross to save the human race, grant, we pray, that we who have known this, this, this mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in our unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Oh, I can be read. The Blessed Virgin Mary promised to St. Dominic and all who follow that whatever you ask in the rosary shall be granted. She left for all Christians 15 promises to those who recite the Holy Rosary as imparted to St. Dominic and Blessed Alan de la Roche. Whoever is the faithful you. Serve me by the recitation of cross and all speed, signal graces. I promise my special protection and the greatest graces to all those who shall recite the rosary. The rosary shall be a powerful armor against hell. It will be destroyed by a decreased sin and defeat heresy. The rosary will cause virtue and good works to flourish. It will obtain for souls the abundant mercy of God. It will withdraw the hearts of men from the love of the world and its vanities and will lift them to the desire for eternal things. All that souls would sanctify themselves by this means. The soul which recommends itself to me by the recitation of the rosary shall not perish. Whoever shall recite the rosary devoutly, applying himself to the consideration of its sacred mysteries, shall never be conquered by misfortune. God will not chastise him in his justice. He shall not perish by an unprovided death. If he be just, he shall remain in the grace of God and become worthy of eternal life. Whoever shall have a true devotion for the rosary shall not die without the sacraments of the truth. Those who are faithful to recite the rosary shall have during their life and at their death the light of God and the plenitude of his graces. 
at the moment of death, they shall participate in the merits of the saints in purgatory, in paradise. I shall deliver from purgatory those who have been delivered, devoted to the Lord. The faithful children of the rosary shall merit a high degree of glory in heaven. You shall obtain all you ask of me in a recitation, by the recitation of the rosary. All those who propagate the Holy Rosary shall be aided by me in their necessities. I have obtained from my divine Son that all the advocates of the Rosary shall have for intercessors the entire celestial court during their life and at the hour of death. All who recite the Rosary are my sons and daughters and brothers and sisters of my only Son, Jesus Christ. Devotion of my Rosary is a great sign of your destination. O Immaculata, we renew our consecration to you. May we surrender ourselves to you completely and in every aspect. This morning we will be praying through the luminous mysteries beginning with the Apostles' Creed, followed by our intentions. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. Holy Spirit, the Holy God, first the communion and the forgiveness of sins of the flesh, the body and life everlasting. Amen. <coughs> we... <coughs> Sorry. We are praying today for an increase of faith, hope, and charity. We are praying that grace and peace would be ours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ our Lord. O Immaculata, please intercede that, that the word that reveals the face of the Lord may transform us and help us to live by echoing his voice in our time. We ask for authority over the fear of death, authority over the fear of death, authority over death itself to manifest in our lives. We also lift to our intention to support this rosary, this prayer of St. Paul during St. Paul from this epistle in the, in the Ephesians chapter 3. We pray that God would grant us according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through the Spirit in our inner man, so that Christ can dwell in our hearts through faith, and that we, being rooted in God of love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints, what is the breadth and the length and the height and the depth, and to know the love of Christ which surpasses knowledge, that we may be filled up to all the fullness of God. We lift up the corporal and spiritual prosperities of our parishes and the Diocese of Salt Lake City and Boise, Idaho. We ask for wisdom for, Bis for Bishop Solis and Christensen to shepherd God's flock. We lift up the intention of all of our flamekeeper spiritual directors. Fathers Vidal and Sternhagen, and all the priests in the Diocese of Salt Lake City in Boise, Idaho. We are praying for our one whole year vision for the fun keepers that we might spread the fire of God's love throughout Utah, Idaho, and the whole world. We lift up this daily Zoom rosaries asking for increased inwardly and fruitfulness outwardly. We lift up our weekly Zoom captains trainings. We are asking for the Lord to raise up captains of tens, fifties, one hundreds, and captains of one thousands. We lift up our monthly fire pit fellowship in the lads, Idaho, it's going to call mission. Every first Sunday at 5 p.m., we're praying for relations to deepen, love, and increase. We also lift up the monthly fire pit fellowship at St. Anne Catholic Church, so it's City every third Sunday at 5.30 p.m. coming up this Sunday. And we are praying for relations to deepen and love to increase there as well. We lift up our annual Flame Keepers Men Retreat, 100 Years of Fire, 14th Annual Men's Retreat, August 9th through 11th, 2024 in Bloomington, Idaho. We ask for grace on all those who volunteer to help steward the 2024 retreat. We ask for grace on our advertising and the registration process. We pray, Lord, that the 2024 retreat would be marked by signs of wonder and abundance of signal graces undeniable prophetic significance for both Utah and Idaho, a huge increase of youth and young adults, and a harvest of souls. We ask, Lord, that just as Our Lady of Guadalupe brought in millions of souls, may Our Lady of Utah and Idaho, Our Lady of the Hills, bring in tons of millions of more souls through this eternal retreat. 
We lift up our following plan for associated projects and ministries, bi-weekly youth power pods, and the alternating bi-weekly Bible, youth Bible study. Lord, pour out your blessings upon these youth gatherings and help the youth become excited about the Lord and desire to know him deeper and seek a closer relationship with you. May their understanding and practicing of prayer, word, and relationship grow exponentially in every area of their lives. We do with adoration to St. Rose Lima. Lord, we pray for the youth adoration in this message of St. Rose Lima Catholic Church for Lake Recall. We ask for continued expansion of the community of the doors and intercessors and pour out pour your power over them to create greater intimacy with you and each other. We also ask for the continual growth, not just in prayer, but in relationship. Yeah. Carlo Acutis Apostolate. Lord, we ask for the move of the Holy Spirit to awaken, to awaken the hearts of the youth in our diocese, that they would fall in love with the true presence of Christ in the Eucharist. We pray for the next youth rally on October 21st, oh, at St. Anne's Catholic Church, that this rally would spark a spiritual revival among the youth. The Chesterton Academy. Lord, we thank you for the move of your spirit that is taking place through the Chesterton Academy throughout the world. We thank you, Lord, that you are using the Chesterton Academy to raise up many priests to help shepherd your flock and future generations. Thank you for bringing Chesterton Academy to our local community, and we pray for strength, perseverance, financial abundance, and a great joy for the Academy's initial year of operation here in Utah. Now let us unify our minds and spirits in a prayer for the United States of America, composed by His Excellency Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano. Almighty and eternal God, King of kings and Lord of lords, graciously turn your gaze to us who invoke you with confidence. Bless us, citizens of the United States. Grant peace and prosperity to our nation. Illuminate those who govern us so that they may commit themselves to the common good in respect for your holy law. Protect those who are the inviolable principles of the natural law and your commandments must be the repeated assault of the enemy of the human race. Keep in the hearts of your children courage for the true love that they can in the midst of trials. Make our families grow in the example that our Lord has given us, together with his most holy mother and Saint Joseph in his home in, in their home in Nazareth. Give to our fathers, the mother and mothers the gift of strength to educate wisely the children with which you have blessed them. We encourage to those who in spiritual combat fight the good fight as soldiers of Christ against the soul furious forces of the children of darkness. To each one of us, O Lord, in your most sacred heart and above all, in whom your providence is placed at the head of our nation. Bless the President of the United States of America, so to the wear of his responsibilities and his duties, he may be a knight of justice, a defender of the oppressed, a firm bulwark against your enemies, and a proud supporter of the children of light. Place the United States of America and the whole world under the mantle of Queen of Victory, Zauron conquered leading battle, the Immaculate Conception. It is thanks to her and through your mercy that the hymn of praise rise to you, O Lord, from the children whom you have redeemed in the most precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And now if anyone has an intention they would like to lift up, please feel free to unmute the microphone and respond. Lord, I'm asking that you be with us and guide me as I facilitate the 10-week study that starts this week on the life of Peter. Thank you, Lord, for the outpouring of Yes, the Bible study uh, is here. So thank you for um, really me and the bishop to be with the um, corresponding alternate uh, gathering that will occur tomorrow night. So, Rose, um, so thank you, Lord, for the uh, offering of and new souls to that gathering.
praying for the will of the Blessed Mother and service to the Blessed Mother for the glory of the King. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you. Save the souls of the unborn children, all souls, purgatory, all peace, religious, and all marriages and families. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Pray for us. The first luminous mystery is the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. And before we pray the Our Father, followed by the decade of Hail Mary, join with us for meditative purposes in the recitation of the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 1, verses 4 to 11. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of the one crying in the wilderness, Make ready the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, and all the country of Judea was was going out to him and all the people of Jerusalem, and they were being baptized by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. John was clothed with camel hair and wore a leather belt around his waist, and his diet was locusts and wild honey, and he was preaching and saying, After me, one is coming who is mightier than I am. I am a fit to shoot down an untied thong of his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Immediately coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens open and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came out of the heavens. You are my beloved son. In you, I am well pleased. The Baptism of Jesus in the Jordan by John the Baptist. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forget those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord mm -hmm. is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those without, especially those in need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you. Save the souls of the unborn children, all souls in purgatory, all priests and religious, and all marriages and families. St. Monica. Say, pray for us. The second luminous mystery is the miracle of the wedding feast of Cain. And before we pray to our Father, follow by the decade of hell, Mary joins with us for meditative purposes in the recitation of the Gospel of St. John, chapter 2, verses 4 through 11. And on the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there, and both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. When the, ran out, when the wine ran out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what does that have to do with us? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Whatever he says to you, do it. Now there were six stone water pots set there for the Jewish custom of purification, containing twenty or thirty gallons each. Jesus said to them, Fill the water pots with water. So they filled them up to the brim, and he said to them, Draw some out and take it to the head waiter. So they took it to him. When the head waiter tasted the water, and it had been which had become wine, and did not know where it came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew. The head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, Every man serves this wine first. And when the people have drunk freely, then he serves the poor wine. But you have kept good wine until now. This beginning of his signs Jesus did in Cana of Galilee and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. The second the most mystery and miracle, the wedding feast in Cana, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen.
Father, and through the Son, and through the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And I do this, forgive us for our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you. Save the souls of the unborn children, all souls in purgatory, all priests and religious, and all marriages and families. Thank you. Uh... Pray for us. The great, the great, uh, Gertrude. Guys, mistake. Sorry. Say Gertrude the great. No, I just had this there in my mind. I couldn't get it out. The third luminous mystery is the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom. Before we pray, the Our Father, followed by the decade of Hail Mary, join with us for meditative purposes on a reading from the Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Jesus said, our nation will rise, well, rise, or nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And in various places, there will be famines and earthquakes. But all these things are merely the beginning of bang, uh, birth pangs. Then they will deliver you to tribulation and will kill you. And you will be hated by all nations because of my name. At that time, many will fall away and will betray one another and hate one another. Many false prophets will arise and will mislead many. Because lawlessness is increased, most people's love will grow old. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. The gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all the nations, and then the end will come. But when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit in his glory in his, on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate them one from another, as the shepherd separates the sheep from the goats, and he will put the sheep on his right and the goats on the left. Then the king shall say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger. You invited me in naked and you clothed me i was sick and you visited me i was in prison and you came to me then the righteous will answer him lord when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you something to drink when did we see you a stranger and invite you in or naked and clothe you when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you the king will answer and say to them truly i say to you to the extent that you did it to one of these brothers of mine, even the least of them, you did it to me. Then he will also say to those on his left, Depart from me, accursed ones, into the eternal fire which has been prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not invite me in. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick, or and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they themselves will also answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not take care of you? They will answer them, surely I say to you, to the extent that you did not do it to the one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. These will go away in the eternal punishment, but the righteous in the eternal life. The third the third glorious mystery is the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom of God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to the temptation to deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, and it is now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, and it is now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. And it is now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our 
death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <clears throat> blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with <clears throat> thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now, the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, <laughs> save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you, save us all for the end, our children, our souls, we go to glory. All priests and religious and all marriages and families. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. The fourth of the mystery is the transfiguration, and before we pray to our Father, followed by the death of Saint Mary, join us for the meditative purposes in the recitation of the prayers for the feast of the transfiguration. At the transfiguration, Father, you showed Jesus in glory a glimpse of what his disciples would see in his risen life. Bless us in our humanity with an awareness of your presence, leading us to share in your divine life, even in our daily struggle. Help us to deepen our knowledge of the law and the prophets, channels of your grace through history and signposts on our journey. Amen. The fourth luminous mystery, transfiguration of my Father, who art in heaven, and what will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Great, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and it is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray <coughs> for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we <laughs> love you. Save the souls of the unborn children, all souls in purgatory, all priests and religious, and all marriages and families. Thank Maximilian Colby. Mm, pray for us. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Eucharist. And before we pray the Our Father, followed by the decade of Hail Mary, join with us for meditative purposes in the reading of a quote from St. Pope John Paul II. Never forget that Jesus in the tabernacle wants you at his side so that he can fill your hearts with the experience of his friendship, which alone gives meaning and fulfillment in our lives. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, I urge you to continue to deepen your personal devotion to our Lord in the Eucharist. It is knowing and in loving the Jesus of the Eucharist that you will have the means to understand life, to find security, and to be a people with roots. It is Christ who supports the changes in the world. Many trials, struggles, challenges, transitions, and happenings of our human system. Our ancestors in the faith have given us an example of faith that is eternal, a faith that unties, that unites heaven and earth, a faith where heaven and earth meet in the most holy world for us, uh, St. Paul's son, Pope John Paul II. <clears throat> the fifth glorious mystery is the institution of the Eucharist. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, we love you, save us all. The unborn children, all souls, and purgatory, all priests, and religious, and all marriages and families. St. Pope John Paul II. Pray for us. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O most holy Mother of God, that me, we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. God is only begotten Son by his life, death, and resurrection, is purchased for us the reward of eternal life. Grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary, blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and, uh, and obtain what they promise to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection employed thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despite not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Thank you, the intentions of the Pope, our Father, who art in heaven, who would be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Say, Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. <clears throat> May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, praise the way we know it by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan, and all of evil spirit, who prowl about the world seeking the own souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh. Oh. <laughs>